Okay, so let's try to find a line that is parallel to this and goes through the point 6 comma 5. When you're doing this, the first thing you want to do is write y equals mx plus b again to get into the right form. Now if it's parallel, you know something about the slope. You know our new slope is going to be one-third just like the old slope. What you don't know still is the b value. So how we would find our b value is we're going to take our points and we're going to plug them in just like in the last video, the x and the y in for the x and the y. And again, this b value over here is meaningless. It doesn't help me out. It only I only know that that line probably not going to have the same b value. Let's plug it in. You get 5 equals 1 third times 6 plus b, which means I get 5 equals, well, 6 times 1 is 6 divided by 3 is 2, plus b, minus 2, minus 2, well, b would be 3. Again, you don't want to write your equation just like that. You'd like to write it as y equals 1 third x plus 3. And that would be my line equation. Again, how you do this? Take the same slope they gave you, because it's parallel. Plug in your x and your y values. Find your y-intercept. Profit. Let's try the next one. Okay, for this one, if you get stuck with it, what you want to do is write a line equation, which is y equals mx plus b. Again, you know what the slope is, because it's parallel. Since it's parallel, that's your slope. So we would get y equals 5 thirds x plus b. Again, we should know what our x and our y values are. So we're going to replace them. So if writing y here, I'm going to write 2. Instead of writing x here, I'm going to write negative 3. From here, what we will do is we'll find our b value. So 5 times negative 3 is negative 15, divided by 3, negative 5. So we have 2 equals negative 5 plus b, which means I need to get, whoops, b by itself. So I add 5 to both sides. I get b equals 7. Again, we want to write this as a line equation. So the line equation would be y equals 5 over 3x plus 7. Answer and done. Let's try another one. Okay, so for this, when I get this kind of equation, what I would want to do is write y equals mx plus b. I have my line equation. Once I have my line equation, it says parallel, so I know what the slope is. That's the slope. So I get y equals negative 3 over 2x plus b. Because again, that y intercept is garbage. Plug in your x and y values. So there's your x, there's your y. 1 equals negative 3 over 2, 6 plus b. Again, when we multiply this, you multiply the tops, divide by the bottoms get 1 equals negative 18 divided by 2 is 9 plus b. Add 9, add 9, get b is equal to 10. Write my line equation. There's my slope, and we got our b value to be 10. There we go. Okay, now we've really explored how to do all the per parallel stuff. So let's start trying to find some perpendicular stuff. Okay, so for this thing, we would like to write a line equation. When you write a line equation for this thing, we'd say y equals. Now when we do this, we still have mx plus b, but our m is going to be different because this is a perpendicular slope. So what it means to be perpendicular is it means it's exactly opposite. So we'd have y equals negative 4 over 1 
because this was a positive, so we make it a negative, and it was 1 over 4, so now it's 4 over 1. X plus B, because again, that's where he's garbage. Plug in your points. 4 equals negative 4 over 1, 5 plus B. Well, we know what this is. That's 4 equals negative 20 plus B. Add 20 to both sides. So I'd have B equals 24. Now this is the important part. Do not use your old slope. Use the slope that you found, because this is the slope of our line, not the slope of their line. Their line is, we don't care about their line. We care about our line. So this is the slope of our line. So we're going to use y equals negative 4x plus 24. Let's try another one. Okay, so this is the last one we're going to do. Again, if you get stuck, please let me know, and I will help you out. When you try this one, again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to say y equals mx plus b. We're then going to find our slope. Now our slope is perpendicular, which means it's an exact opposite. So that's negative 2 over 3. Ours is going to be 3 over 2 x plus b. Again, we don't know what our b value is. So that's what we have to find. Their b value is garbage. So we want to take our x and y and plug those things in. I'm going to get 1 equals 3 over 2 times 2 plus b which will end up giving me 1 equals, well, 3 over 2 times 2. Uh, that's going to be 6 divided by 2, which will be 3 plus b. I'll subtract b from both sides and get that b is equal to negative 2. So that's my b value. This is the slope for my equation. So our answer would be 3 over 2x minus 2. And that would be my answer. Make sure you're doing the problems correctly. Again, if you got stuck, go back, watch the video, or send me an email and ask me for some help. Again, since this is the last video, make sure your quizzes are fixed for tomorrow when you turn them in.